I am an American graduate. 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 Hi, my name is Danielle, and I am a graduating senior here at Alabama State University and also an Aspire mentor. Student dropouts are a major problem in our society today. Ask yourself this, if all of our students dropped out of school today, who will be our future doctors? Who will be our lawyers? And also, who will be our teachers? Exactly. It is a very grim thought. But that's where American Graduate comes into the picture. American Graduate, Let's Make It Happen is a public media initiative funded by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting to help local communities across America find solutions to address the dropout crisis. In this documentary, WVAS-FM partnered with the SPIRE program on a youth media project to teach the students how broadcasting works. The students filmed and produced this documentary. You will hear from students and radio personalities sharing how they feel about the dropout crisis. You will also see highlights from the past year of events that WVAS and Aspire has done. So sit back, relax, and be inspired. I am American Graduate. Before we begin, let's hear from Mrs. Handy, the founder of the Aspire program. I brought the idea to Ms. Danielle Kennedy in 2010. Uh, they were looking for something uh, along the lines of helping with the dropout rate here in, in the city. And so I had the idea of Aspire, amazing students putting in resilient effort, giving it a positive uh, spin. First question up for discussion, why do students drop out of high school? When it gets hard. To help, I actually wanted to help them graduate. I wanted to help this guy graduate. I tried to get him to stay in school. I tried talking to my teachers with them about it, but all that I tried to do, it didn't seem to work for him. So, he, he, unfortunately, he did. So, is the entertainment industry an influence? One of the things then, when we say education, I don't want everybody to think when we say education, we automatically mean books and classroom and teachers. You know, uh, I think it's equally important if a person knows that what they want to do early, that you get them the education of the trade. You know, I, I, I firmly believe that the reason we have kids that drop out of school so early and the, and the dropout rate is so high is because kids are just not challenged anymore. And I, I think that's one of the things that we definitely need to change in education. You know, kids have to be challenged. You know, not only are we telling kids to stay in school all the time, but why do they need to stay in school? And what are we doing for the kids to make them want to stay in school? I asked them, okay, uh, if school's not for you, what do you want to do? And majority of y'all, I want to play sports or I want to uh, get into music and, and make millions, buy a big house. Okay, I asked them, okay, so you want to do that? What, what's the steps that you, that you need to take in order to do that? And they can't answer that. Okay, if you want to be a, a play sports, how do they recruit? They go to the schools to recruit. So if you're out of school, if you're a dropout, how are you going to get recruited? Because you have to have connections. You have to have the education. You, you have to have the degree. And um, a lot of students who I come across who, who have dropped out, because I, I taught some students who uh, have dropped out, I, I see them now, they're, you know, coming to me, Ms. Davies, I, I should have stayed in school because I'm at home, I, I need a job, I need to find a job. But I, I tell them, if you, if you really want what you say you want, you need to get back in school, get some type of education, whether it's getting a GED or picking up a book at the library and just educating yourself on what to do stay in school. Next topic, reasons why students should stay in school. My brother, um, Kelsey, um, um, he, um, he graduated from high school and he's in college now. He's going to be, 
dealing with the um, law school, and um, he motivated me. And he graduated. He just graduated last summer. So education is important now. It it gives you knowledge, and knowledge is power. They have to understand that if you stay in school and get an education, it gives you control of your life. Well, I'll give you. I'll try to give you five reasons. Okay. One, um. High school dropout is less likely to get a job. And when you graduate, it prepares you for 50 years. Um, there's a quote that says, if you want to hide something from a black man, hide it in the book. So I feel like you graduate, that'll totally change the entire game for society. Um, number three, graduating is like a big accomplishment. Like nowadays, many kids have parents that did not graduate. So when you graduate, that's a big accomplishment for you. Four. If you don't graduate, I mean, like, a college experience is something that can never be taken away from you. So, that's another one. And five, for the money. If you don't graduate, like, how are you going to pay your bills? Like, I am American graduate. I am an 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 American graduate. Last topic. What are possible solutions for the dropout problem? Your child wants to talk to you, don't shut them off. You make time and you say, yes, what is it? It's important, I'm listening. Also, repeating what you heard your child say is important. And that way they know that you're listening. If nothing else can motivate you, it's your parents. It's your parents. They raised you so they, so they should be able to motivate you. If nothing else can motivate you, they can. They can. I have to say you have to find your passion you know a lot of us are told what we should do when we're growing up because they think that it's successful and you'll be happy it's easy to tell somebody hey be a doctor be a lawyer why because they pay a lot but just because something pays a lot doesn't mean it gives you the fulfillment that it's supposed to you know I think one of the things that we have to find people's passion and no matter how silly we might think it is we have to embrace that it's important to them. Um, like extracurricular activities like football, basketball, um, cheerleading, um, aspire, different programs to help them stay in school or encourage them. I, I would say if you feel that school is not for you, reach out to somebody. Talk to somebody that you know who's uh, made it through the school system, who's graduated and got an education. Uh, go out and shadow people who, uh, who are in the profession that you want to be in, uh, regardless if it's entertainment or if you want to be a doctor or uh, a mechanic. Go and, go and shadow somebody. Go and talk to somebody who's doing what you want to do. And that'll probably change the perception of, of, uh, of a dropout because a lot of people, and, and this is true, they see that a lot of successful people didn't finish school, like a Bill Gates or you know, uh, uh, Oprah, they see these, these people who were dropouts and now they're billionaires, they're millionaires, and they see that and they say, okay, well, if they did it, I can do it. But understand that everybody's, everybody's destiny, everybody's uh, calling is not the same. Now let's take a moment to reflect back over our Aspire year. A community forum titled Keeping the Youth in school was a great event. We had a professional panel of experts to express their knowledge on kids dropping out of school. It was broadcasted live on 90.7 FM WVAS on Perspectives, hosted by Rob Taylor. It was a two hour event filled with serious topics and discussions from both the students and the professionals.
We also held a Skype teleconference with WGVU out of Michigan, where we got the opportunity to talk with peers of our own about the dropout crisis and what it is like living in the North compared to the South. Everyone enjoyed it. And in the end, the mentors of both programs had a small discussion of actual college life. Last but certainly not least, we have finished off the year with the 2013 Aspire Awards and Recognition Banquet. We have had a great, wonderful year. I have truly been inspired. How about you? That concludes our documentary and we thank you so much for coming out. From ASU Aspire to you, we say, stay in school. Bye.